Hello, my name is Danny Nolan and I'm the director of Shas Sim Technologies and welcome to this latest chassis sim tutorial and what we're going to be discussing here ladies and gentlemen is chassis sim three minute winning tips ride heights now when people often think about simulation they often simulation goes oh yeah look we'll get to it when we get to it or yeah that's nice but it's either too hard too complicated etc etc but ladies and gentlemen if you are serious about getting results and getting to results quickly this has to be one of the first things that you do and today we're going to illustrate this through um, determining ride heights. Now, when we think about ride heights ladies and gentlemen, it's one of the most common garden variety jobs a race, a, a race data engineer or a performance engineer will do but it's actually one of the most critical jobs that they'll do. However, what is often overlooked ladies and gentlemen is there are two components to this. There's the movement in the body and there's the movement of the tyre. Now. Chassis sim will take both into account and that really opens up a much bigger range of variables that you can look at. And here's the other thing, ladies and gentlemen, due to its transient nature, this includes bumps. Let me tell you a little amusing war story. I was once catching up with a um, colleague of mine in F1 and we were yeah, we were um, comparing crib notes and, and he said to me, oh, you know what, we've got our own specialized ride height simulator. And I looked at him and I said, that's great. Does it take into account bumps? And then all of a sudden he got very, very quiet on me. And the great thing about chassis sim is due to its transient nature, it does take into account bumps. So how do we go about So how do you go determining these all mythical ride heights, ladies and gentlemen? Well, it's pretty straightforward. You open up chassis sim. You select um, the car file that you're working on. I'm just selecting one of the templates. You select a circuit that um, you select, um, uh, you load in the circuit you want to simulate. You set up a data log and you simulate. It's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. And when you are done, what you do is you, you then log to data and you're looking at something like this. So what we've got here, ladies and gentlemen, is that we've got speed, steer, front pitch, which is the average of the front of both um, uh, front dampers the rear pitch which is the average of our two rear dampers and here's the money shot ladies and gentlemen front ride height and rear ride height and let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen this will instantly be able to tell you whether you've got a grounding problem it also instantly tells you whether you're in the ride height envelope of where you need to be and let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen this is not us jamming up a result this is from an actual customer's um, uh, uh, from a customer time attack car so let me put it to you like this, ladies and gentlemen. If you're already in the chassis sim community, you know this is hardwired in the chassis sim. Go off and start uh, start uh, start using it. If you're not in the chassis sim community, sign up to our online simulation and find out for yourself just how straightforward it is to determining ride heights because it's literally a one to two minute. It is literally a one to two minute job, but more importantly, you get the full gambit, including bumps. So. I'll leave that with you ladies and gentlemen and we'll catch you in the next um, Shasim 3 Minute Winning Tips tutorial.